Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Julie Mazzoni, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm just gonna show you what I'm working on and give a few tips along the way. This week, you guessed it, I'm gonna try to get as far as possible on this, hopefully even finish it. So this section right here, I have cut and dry laid it, so I will have to move it over, lay the thin set. So this will be the first part I do, and I need to finish the wing, and then I will get after the sky. So before I had done the wing and then the sky on one side and the wing and the sky on the other side, but it's actually much easier since I already have these colors of glass sitting out to just do all the wings and then all the sky. That's it. On this side of my studio, I have a number of things going. As you know, I made a little cross stitch project last week. Here it is. I took some AR mesh, put thin set on it, let that set up, put another coat of thin set just to stiffen it up, and then use small tea to make a little design. So what I didn't show you was that I had a 12 pack of these. So I've prepped a few more and they're kind of all over the place waiting for a thin set and whatnot. This is some of the small tea that I used in that other one. And also I posted an image of a mosaic similar to this only with red roses. I will pop that up. So while I have finished this one, my aunt likes red roses, so I'm gonna make a new one with red roses. So I've gotten a couple ready. I think I'm gonna put red roses on this one. And I have put the backgrounds on, but they're not grouted yet, as you can see. Not grouted, not grouted. So I have to grout them, and then I'll put the vase on, and then I'll put the flowers on. So these are gonna have roses in them. This one's gonna be for my aunt. I picked more neutral colors for her. And uh, this one, I think I'm gonna have red roses on that, and I don't know what color on this, maybe white. But we'll see, so those are just set up and ready to go. I'll have to grout them and then get after that, and then I can do this. But I've also got one more thing going on, and that is I was thinking I wanted to make something for outside, so I used AR mesh. I used one piece and put thin set on it, and then I put AR mesh on the other side and put thin set on it. And so I have a stake that can go into the ground. And this was just, I made it from this. So first I flattened out this so that it tipped that way. And then I put all that air mesh on there and made it up. And now it's ready for a mosaic. So it's a little bit rough, but that's okay because that's all going to be covered with mosaic. That's what I have going on. A bunch of little things over here. Back to priority number one.
wanted to give an update on this bottle. I started this a long time ago and I just work on it a little bit in class here and there. But it was getting to the point where there were there was just so much going on. I wanted a lot of color and it had a lot of color, but it was just so getting very chaotic. So I decided to emphasize red on the flowers. So I'm going to up my red game and put a lot of red. And then it needs a place for your eye to rest. And that is what this cream color is. It's iridized, but it's not so busy. So I will be using that also somewhere else on here. I'm not sure where. I think this little band here is going to have the same color as this bottom band. It's gonna be red flowers with green and the ivory, but I'm also gonna use the ivory somewhere else in here. And each section, I'm going to try to put some red glass just to make it a little bit more cohesive. So that's the update. When I get a little bit further, I will give another update. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna grout these real quick. This one I'm gonna grout with chocolate brown sanded grout, and this one with DeLorean gray sanded grout. So as soon as these are done slaking, I will grout them. these two and I went ahead and stuck the vases on so if you look on the side you can see I used white thin set and I just did that because it's a little bit heavier tesser and it's sticking out on top so for the rest of this I'll probably use for the flowers themselves e6000 and I'm gonna save this one for later Start I'm ready to make these itty bitty roses on here and I've got three different colors of red, bright red, dull red, and dark red. They're sort of close. Then I have bright green, dark green, and muted green for the leaves. I have jewelry and bead E6000 with a special tip on there. Some very sharp tweezers, nippers. I have some little white beads that I, I've been thinking of adding white beads to these bouquets. I don't know if I will or not, but because I'm not sure if I'll have room, but I think it would really make it extra pretty. And then I have a special little piece of Millie Fiori that is a butterfly. Here, that's kind of hard to see. Maybe you can see it on there. So I might add that up here, kind of off, not on the bouquet, but in the air when I'm done, depending on the scale of it. If it looks too small, I will not. That's it, let me get after it.
final stretch on St. Luke. and do this the center of this flower first and that is because I'm going to make it two-sided and I want one side to set up before I flip it and then put the other side on so I'm going to do beaded center and I'm going to make a sunflower now I realize here's sort of my inspiration seed packet for a dwarf sunspot sunflower and these petals are much smaller than the petals that I made because when I made this I wasn't looking at this but I'm gonna do the centers sort of in this color palette and that's where the inspiration is coming from. So it's gonna be greenish and then orangish and maybe a little bit of brown. That's it. Use my scale to measure out equal parts A and B. Then using a gloved hand, I mix the epoxy sculpt for two minutes. up a little bit too much epoxy sculpt and so the other side of that's not ready so I'm gonna build it up on AR mesh again yeah I'm not gonna finish it I'm just gonna use up what I've mixed here I'm gonna make it a little bit different on this side same kind of colors but I'm gonna use this giant green bead for the middle day and look how great this is came out great I think I'm gonna have to finish this just because I want to get it on the back and they're so sparkly I can't wait so I'm gonna do that right now Here are the 
two centers. This one has to set up for a day or so before I can stick it on the back. Uh, and then I can do the petals when they're all good to go. I guess I could start the petals on this one first, but I'm gonna set this aside and pick up my big bead mess. And that's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.